Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Cars and Cloud. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix an errors when importing patches to your WSAS server. So as you can see here, when I try to import this KB and I'm getting fail. And if I click on fail, it's going to tell me the following common cause and solution for this for this issues so if your proxy is talking about proxies um, it's also it's talking about the WSS server might not be configured so these doesn't really apply to these errors this is genetic errors so in order to fix this let me try to um, import again I'm going to paste the KB in click on search I'm going to add all go to view baskets and click on import so as you can see it's all failing so there is a simple fix of from your WSS server go to the registry make sure you do this from your WSS server go to HK local machines go to software go to Microsoft go to .NET framework go to v4 So what you need to do here, you're going to create a new key. Make sure you highlight this and right click, go to new, D word 32 bit value. going to type in SCH user strong crypto click on it make sure you change this to a one click OK now reboot the server if you go it's going to require a reboot, so let's reboot the server. All right, the server has been rebooted. Now let's look at the open up WSS again. Open up SCCM console. Click on Imports. Now let's search for the KB. I'm going to add all of it. Now let's go to view baskets. Now let's search for the um, before I import the the KB. Let's look at the um, all the software updates to see if I can find this KB in here. All software updates. I'm going to paste this KB, enter. As you can see, there is no KB in listed here. So let's go back here. Now I'm going to click import. Now 
it should change to success or green. Yep, it changed to done as you can see. So that's all you need to do to fix this import error. Let's go back to the registry again. I just want to show you. HK Local Machine Software, Microsoft.NET Framework, version 4. So all you have to do is just create this key here. Make sure it says hexadecimal and equals to 1. That all there is to it. Let's go back here. So as you can see, it's green on three of them so far. I got one more to go. Done. So once you import, you need to go back here and run the sync. Make sure you run the sync for the KV to show up. yes and if you go back here under monitoring monitoring under software update simulation it should be syncing in a few minutes you want to wait make sure it shows green or success before you can go back and search for the KB all right now let's refresh the screen Oops, it fell. Now I'm going to try to resync. That's fine when it's the first time it's re um I probably have issue with my WSS. I'm just gonna resync. Alright, now let's take a look at the sync again. As you can see it is successful. I'm going to search for the KB. And here is the KB. As you can see, here's all the um, KB numbers related to this KB shows up here. So that's how you fix it. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and have a great day.